Hey everyone, what's up? It's your friendly neighbourhood Black Knight, Charming Man 93 here to give you yet another drama video. And well, for the second time in a row, although definitely not the second time ever, Jenny McDermott has got herself in a little bit of a drama fest. I mean, I'm sure it's possibly not so she can get to 2,500 subs, but surely in the interest of a young girl, a young pretty lady who was viciously and terribly statutory raped by her evil, evil husband or boyfriend. I don't know if they're married. Now, I'm sure you all know who I am talking about. I am, of course, talking about Armored Skeptic and Shoe on Head. Jenny had decided for, obviously, because she's a feminist and a good feminist always tries to put the rapists behind bars because, you know, vigilante justice and all that. And basically, she has accused Armored Skeptic of statutory rape. Statutory rape of Shoe on Head, obviously. And she's trying to claim that Shoe on Head is 17 years old and Armored Skeptic is 30. But hey, why give you everything so soon? Intro. Hello everyone, this is Tammy Man Ugh! Damn it, I can't see a thing in this. So in what I can assume can only be a very slow week for Jenny, uh, she failed to garner a lot of attention for saying that she flagged Grey Knight 777 and basically nobody believed her or some people did but chose not to bother with her. She got nothing from that. So what could she do? What could she possibly think? Well, she also tried to get more attention by saying that, yeah, she hated YouTubers. Just look here. Who do I hate on YouTube and why? Um, first off, I'll just start um, from the most recent events and work my way backward. I hate Armored Skeptic. I think he's such a piece of shit. Um, oh, and look, a name has cropped up. I mean, what is this name? Um, Blamed Bleptic? Um, enameled Epileptic? Oh, wait, no, sorry. Uh, Armored Skeptic, yes. And I guess, seeing that this I hate these particular YouTubers, and a particular YouTuber is considered boring, I mean, it couldn't possibly be me, <laughs> I don't know, uh, she realised that seeing that rape is in the news again, what with uh, Kesha and Cosby suing the people who are trying to get him arrested and tried for rape, uh, she thought, oh, I know, this will get me up to 2,500 subs, why not I accuse Ahmed Skeptic, the man who rejected me, rejected my romantic feelings and flirted with me, accuse him of rape, statutory rape, because... Yeah, Sean Head, she's like 24 or something, but she looks 17. No, she is 17, right? Surely not. Why not accuse him and get a load of subs and maybe, just maybe, split this young couple up and get some publicity and I'm a skeptic's reputation will be thrown into the dirt and sullied forever because, as we all know, the rape accusations stick even when you're declared innocent. And this video was released uh, this week, say around about, I can't remember, Monday or Tuesday or something, and she has since deleted it, but thankfully I managed to download it. So here we will just go through it very quickly and undo what we usually do in these drama videos. Oh my goodness, guys. I know, guys. Jesus Christ. What's happened to her hair? I know it's usually cut quite poorly by her, but God, she's looking a lot like Milo Yiannopoulos. Isn't that a bit weird? And I just was passed along some information in my comments. Someone had mentioned to me that Shoe on Head um, has been doxxed. Now, I can neither confirm nor deny this fact. I have no idea about whether or not Shu was doxxed. We all know her name is June. That's about it. We know her age. 24. Oh, wait, no. Is it 24? Ooh, we'll have to wait and see. And um, we know that she's with Armour Skeptic. That's about it. I don't know if she's been doxxed or not, but if that is the case, if that is the case, why all of a sudden is this of the interest to Jenny, of all people? Why? Hmm... Let's carry on, shall we? Which I thought was weird. I didn't really look at it, but I got a few comments saying this. Well, what can I say? Fantastic research skills from Jenny there. She didn't even look at it, yet she knows exactly what was in Chu's details just by the comments of people. Second hand, third hand, 
fourth hand people amazing isn't it just incredible research skills you deserve a Ivan the Vela reward or whatever they use for research I don't know I didn't research it so I don't know but really fantastic so we've got an entire video based on hearsay amazing isn't it um because everyone knows her name's June so I was like who cares you know yeah, but then he noticed that the sub account wasn't quite getting as high as it should have been. Then he thought, fuck it, I'm going to care now. She's not, like, hiding information. She talks about where she lives, you know, whatever. Um, then, no, I got a message saying she'd been doxxed and she has lied about her age. Oh, really? Really? Where did you get this from? Which commenter was this? I mean, you didn't even go to verify it, I presume. You didn't have to make sure that what you're saying is correct. I mean, we couldn't possibly be peddling lies now, could we? We wouldn't want that, would we, Jenny? I mean, it, it's beneath you to tell lies. You tell nothing but the truth. And that her and Armored Skeptic have been dating since she was, drumroll, 17 years old. Oh, wow, really? Oh, wow, excellent, really. Wow, how long ago was this? Like a year? They've only been dating for about a year, as far as I know. So that means that she was 23, am I correct? I mean, no, wait, no, she's actually, what, 17? Right? I don't know, just saying. So, um, he's 30. Okay? Sex is bad, okay? So, um... I am going to go ahead and dox him right now. Oh, fantastic, Jenny. Thank you for being honest about your actions. I mean, Jesus Christ. You used to just, like, deny that you used to dox people. But hey, at least now you're just th thinking, fuck it. Let's just be honest about what I'm doing. I'm totally right in what I'm doing. I am the arbiter of truth. I am the one who's going to save all the women's. I'm the greatest feminist on the internet since Anita Sarkeesian. So yeah, go ahead, dox him. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? It's not like you might need to be seeking legal counsel or anything. His name is Gregory Fleur. He lives in fucking Canada. Uh, yeah, we know about this, actually. He told us during his unmasking, which was like, what, a year ago now or something? This is all old news, Jenny. You're not really doxing him, even though you think you are. But I'll let that slide because you're an idiot. I think Ontario or, oh, um, no, Kingston. Ontario. I'm doing that because, uh, he's a rapist. Damn, that's quite an accusation to level at someone, Jenny. Do you have evidence for this? Do you have irrefutable proof? that what Armored Skeptic did was rape towards Shu on Head, even if she is 17. But hey, while we're at it, let's just look at Shu on Head, shall we? Let's have a look at Shu. Let's have a look at her. Hmm, 17, eh? Well, hmm, can't quite see it yet. Hang on. Oh, damn, look at this. If you pair her next to Boxy, look at this. Clearly, clearly 17. Clearly, look at her. You can't be more 17 if you tried. I mean, she's like Boxy's younger sister or something. Ridiculous, isn't it? Damn, Jenny. Damn, I'm with you on this one. Wow. Amazing, thorough journalistic research you did there, girl. Fantastic. You get two thumbs up from me. And when Hannibal was exposed as being a child molester, we all doxed him because we all decided as a community that it is absolutely okay to dox pedophiles. Last I checked, you guys weren't the ones who doxed Hannibal. It was somebody else who doxed him. I don't know who, but somebody doxed him. Somebody found his details. And then a few others on the anti-fem side did some digging and confirmed said details. You guys actually defended him right until the end, until it was patently obvious that he was indeed a molester. But now this is just, well, what can I say? You're getting a bit suspect here, Jenny. I think we're going to have to look at the law. Now, let's see. Where are you from? You're from California, right? You're from California. What's your age of consent there? Well, according to the internet, uh, the age of consent in California is 18. So yes, if indeed Shu and Armored Skeptic were from California, that would indeed be illegal. 
17 year old and a 30 year old although since they've only been together for about a year it would technically be a 29 year old and a 17 year old now I don't know whether or not they'll give him leeway considering she would have been 18 soon anyway I don't know but there's apparently some loopholes in the law regarding that sometimes I don't know but let's take a look at Anatario where they both live and also let's not forget that Shu I think originally comes from New York I think let's take a look at New York because it's closer to California or maybe Anatario is closer I don't know don't care it's in the same country as California so let's take a look at New York and according to the internet uh, the age of consent is 17 okay only one below that of California and I think Shu is from New York so Technically, if they were both from New York, it's perfectly fine for I'm a Skeptic to have sex with Shoe on Head if she were actually 17. Because she's not 17, she's 24, guys. She's lying, she's not 17, she didn't lie about her age, she had no reason to lie about her age. But let's take a look at Ontario in Canada. What's the age of consent there? 16, the age of consent is 16 and it was raised very recently from 14 to 16. Still legal, even if she were 17. So you've now passed from hearsay and accusations to what is pretty much defamation of character, Jenny, I hate to say it. What you have done here is that you have used Mitch's law and tried to apply where you live, the USA, to shoe on head and I'm a skeptic who live in Canada. And sadly, it just doesn't apply to them because the law is different over there. And even if she were 17, because let's be honest, you didn't check the information. You just heard from your fans that she was 17. Although whether or not they were your fans, even if you even were watching what your fans were saying about shoe on head or not, I don't know. You were probably lying about that. This just makes you look even worse because you didn't check the facts. You just went on along and decided that... Yeah, we're going to just go along and accuse someone willingly of rape, statutory rape, and try and get his reputation sullied and you a load of subs. Incredible, isn't it? How's that working out for you? And in my opinion, this is pretty close to pedophilia. So not only had this guy uh, been cheating on his wife online with several women and tried to cheat on his wife with me, tried to move out to California to be with me when I wasn't interested, and um, had a girlfriend online uh, named River McKenna who then committed suicide. Of course, none of this is even true. For one, they live in a completely different country with completely different laws when it comes to age of consent, and he never once tried to cheat on his ex-wife who he was just trying to leave. I mean, sure, he flirted with you once. Or maybe it appeared like he flirted with you. I can't exactly remember. But just because you're butthurt about him rejecting you doesn't mean you can go around accusing him of all this insane bullshit, Jenny. After all of that and the uh, divorce from Greg's uh, wife, he started fucking around with this 17-year-old girl. Chew on head. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, let everybody know that I just found out this disgusting information about him. <laughs> and you talk as if you were there. You talk as if you know I'm a skeptic and she went ahead very, very well. As if they've been telling you all of this. As if nobody has been lying to you or just creating rumours or maybe you've just made it all up and have made up people that are your fans in order to pass off the guilt onto somebody else who doesn't even exist. Well, sadly, 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 that's not going to work this time, Jenny. And um, it's hilarious because earlier in the night I was trolling the comments of a Sargon um, and Logic Hangout. And, you know, I was just saying, like, blah, 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 feminism, blah, 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 Islam, blah, 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 because all these guys do is repeat the same fucking rhetoric over and over, which is why I hate these YouTubers, which is why I made the video that I'm uploading at this moment. Um, so I was saying that in the comments, and then out of left field comes Armored Skeptic to talk shit to me and said, um, well, hey there, Jenny Mc fraud, which is such bullshit. I mean, we could easily call Sargon of Akkad a fraud because his GoFundMe didn't work out for him when he tried to get funds for Steve Shives to come on his show, which Steve, like, over and over said that he wouldn't go on the show. So basically he was just harassing Steve Shives. 
And then GoFundMe flagged him as having a fraudulent GoFundMe. I wasn't flagged for fraud on GoFundMe. I hate to interrupt her, but she was actually. Go watch my videos if you want to find out the truth. My campaign was legitimate. Yeah, it was so legitimate that you got fired for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's just a bad, bad coincidence. It totally had nothing to do with it, you know? Proved that my work was spreading misinformation about me. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. This guy shows up and starts calling me a fraud and then... I say, hey, stop trying to fuck me to try to be funny because I made a video about it and everyone was like dogpiling me in this comment section. And he's like, when I see you, my penis becomes inverted or it turns inside out. And I was like, oh, so you have a vagina then. But that joke was uh, courtesy of Bewildered Ape, so. And here is Jenny McDermott with the usual bullshit reason or one of the bullshit reasons for why she did what she had to do. It wasn't because she was feeling sorry for Shu. It wasn't because she was trying to expose some rapist. No, it was because Ahmed Skeptic trolled her and she's butthurt about him not accepting her advances and said rejecting her because, you know, she'll try and say that, oh, you want to fuck me. Well, no, he didn't actually. Flirting doesn't mean that you want to fuck someone. But hey, never mind. That's besides the point. The point is, she's done this because he was shitposting her in Sargon's chat. Even though she was the one who went there to cause trouble, yet apparently she's the victim. So, uh, good luck, Armored Skeptic, with being a total fucking scumbag online. Um, I don't know why it's taken so many people so long to catch on to this, but um, hopefully uh, this doesn't become an O.J. Simpson situation or a Michael Jackson situation where a total fucking creepy scumbag is popular so no one cares because they just want to be entertained by him. Sounds like Bewildered Ape and a little bit of projection, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a shitlord. I'm boring to her. <laughs> well, uh, newsflash people, the guy's videos are fucking shit. They're long as fuck, boring as fuck, he puts zero effort into his editing and he films these off the cuff. I know, I know, it's not really relevant to the whole rape allegations thing, but look, let me just clear the air here. She's lying yet again. She clearly doesn't even watch his videos, clearly. For one, he edits them very, very well. He animates, and he also likes to do other editing type stuff. He might not necessarily do proper editing when he's just doing the shoot off head stuff or uh, off topic things, just, you know, vlogging, which you don't need to do, really. A simple cut or two will suffice, but when it comes to the animating and doing the two little characters he does, that takes a lot of effort. There's a reason why he doesn't always make a video all the time. And no, he does not do him off the cuff. It's clearly heavily scripted and he puts a lot of research into his arguments. It's patently obvious, just look at his videos, watch them, it's clear it's scripted. You can't script a, a, a kind of skit like he does unless you're really good at improvisational comedy, <laughs> like me. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. <laughs> but in all seriousness, shut up Jenny, you're the one who does it off the cuff, you're the one who will do shit like that, not put effort into your videos. You'll occasionally script something, you have scripted videos, but they're still shit. When you try, you're still shit. Stop being a hypocrite. So he can fuck off for all I care. And for all of you who like him, it's because he got a shout out from Richard fucking Strokeface Dawkins. <sighs> okay. And that's the last point she makes in the video. <laughs> yeah. Strokeface Dawkins. What a way to make you look better, Jenny, by insulting someone who is incredibly ill. Because, you know, when you're trying to get somebody arrested for rape, the last thing you want to do is look like a total bloody idiot and a scumfuck. Ironically enough. But it doesn't end there, people. Obviously, there was a heavy, heavy reaction. I think at the end, if I remember correctly, her dislike ratio was so large that she only got a 1% approval rating. Incredible, isn't it? Now, we've not heard anything from the likes of Kevin Potato, Logan, or Bewildered Ape, although he has been in the comments section, the latter. We've not heard from any of the usual suspects, so I assume they're trying to keep away from this and just white knight for her. And maybe Kevin has decided, Ooh, I better not get into this, otherwise I'm going to get 
called out and called his shoe and had a cum bucket, you know, like stuff like that. So she deletes the video because such was a negative reaction and we know that usually she'll delete these horrible videos because the reaction is so negative that she doesn't end up getting the subs that she wanted from the SJWs. And then she decided to release a little update video. Thankfully, it's not as long as that monstrosity before. So we'll just watch this one, do the same thing to it, and then we'll end the video. Hi guys, just a quick update on Armored Rape Gate. Yeah, that's what she's naming this drama. Armored Rape Gate. Listen, Jenny, this is the worst title ever. Ever. It's not even catchy. It's terrible. Did you think long and hard about that? I bet you did. This was all your teeny weeny little brain could think of. All the brain cells that you have left after the amount of partying you did in your early years mustered together and formed this. And you're trying to make it a hashtag? Just no. No. I'd like to thank everyone who watched my video and left a comment on the alleged rape of Shuan Head by an atheist in the YouTube community. Oh, so you've changed your tune now, Jenny. It's an alleged rape. Sadly, you cannot undo the past because the internet never forgets and I have a copy of the original. It's important that rape victims get supported and that Shoe on Head gets your support. Yeah, because false rape accusations are totally going to help rape victims recover from their rapes, send rapists to jail, and to make the world a safer place for everyone. In my previous video, I discussed statutory rape and how some atheist YouTubers such as Armored Skeptic advocate for the rape of minors. Yeah, but he doesn't advocate for the rape of minors. He never has done and never will do. The fact of the matter is, a minor is completely different in Canada, specifically on Ontario, than it is in California. Hell, where she originally comes from. In New York. New York State. I don't know if she's actually from the city. It's different to where you come from, California. Mitch's Law. Again. So since then, Armored Skeptic has sent me an email stating that he will be filing a lawsuit against me for lolbull. <laughs> lolbull, right. I bet that was just a mistake you made and you tried to make that like a joke. Come on, you're not that funny, Jenny. Now, you see, I told her, I told her on Twitter that you better be careful because he will be filing a lawsuit because since you got all your facts wrong about the law and that you made spurious accusations without any evidence, you are now subject to to a court case. You can be done for this. And he's well within his rights to do so. Good luck, Jenny. Armored Skeptic claims that in Canada, statutory rape laws do not apply to minors where rapists have sought consent from a child's parent. Apparently, statutory rape only applies when parents do not give consent to adults. Yep, he is right. Why, are you trying to claim otherwise? You do realize Canadian law is different to Californian law, right? to fuck their children. My response was, good luck with the lawsuit. That's all for now. I'll keep you posted on any new developments. Yeah, potentially your imminent arrest. Anyway, I guess that's it. We'll just have to wait for the next episode. See you later, people. <laughs>